everyone welcome back to my channel I'm so glad you joined me today for another five minute Friday video now if you're new here then thank you so much for stopping by I hope you'll stick around hit that subscribe button if you like videos that focus on motivation and inspiration and encouragement and helping you be the best version of yourself you can be physically emotionally and mentally then I know you're gonna love it on my channel and I'm so glad like I said that you clicked on this video I have to be honest with you, I almost did not record this video today. As you can see, I'm no makeup, I have barely brushed my hair, I'm trying to grow up my bangs so you can see that they're kind of wild and crazy. I'm kind of haphazard today and I feel a little bit harried and pretty emotionally drained. I had some pretty heavy stuff going on today and I really haven't had a minute or a second of time to myself. Have you had a day like that recently? Maybe you can relate. I think those are the best days to do your grateful list and focus on five things that you're grateful for because it forces you to take a step back, take a breath. We should practice doing that more often. Sometimes you need to do that, wouldn't you agree? But you take a breath and you really think about refocusing your mind and refocusing your energy and your heart on things that you feel grateful for, that make you happy, that make you feel blessed and fill you with joy. That's so important, especially when we feel overwhelmed, really busy, or just kind of harried and just kind of stressed. So that's what I'm doing today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Now the first thing that I'm thankful and grateful for happened today, and it's really the fact that I got the opportunity to talk to one of my son's friends because I was driving him to our house from the gym. He's doing some training with me at the gym. and. He was able to talk to me and confide in me about some struggles that he's had recently and some things that he's going through right now. And I really felt thankful and grateful that I could be there for him and listen to him. I really hope that my boys have an adult role model that they feel that they can go to and talk to if there's ever a time when they feel like they don't want to talk to either myself or their dad or either of their step parents. I hope that they have an adult in their life that can fill that gap and fill that role that they feel comfortable talking to that can really encourage them and give them some wisdom about anything that they need to talk about or anything that they might be going through because I think that's so important for kids. And I just feel so grateful that he felt comfortable enough with me to be able to open up and share what he shared with me. It made me feel really happy that he was able to do that. The second thing that I'm thankful and grateful for is that we celebrated a really fun and relaxing 4th of July holiday. Last weekend, I had the boys with me and we got to spend some time with my sister. We saw her in a 4th of July parade and we grilled out and we went to fireworks together and it was really a good time. It was very relaxing. We had a lot of fun and it really made me realize that I want to make an effort to spend a lot more time with my sister because it was really fun being with her. We've planned a shopping trip in a couple weeks and we're going to go to a real really nice outdoor mall and have lunch. I think she's going to have a lot of fun and I'm really looking forward to that. I'm really grateful and thankful that I had such a nice 4th of July holiday. Moving on to the third thing that I'm thankful and grateful for is the fact that at the end of the month I have a birthday. I am actually turning 47 years old and I got to be honest, I feel pretty good overall. I'm happy with where I am in my life. I'm really thankful that coming out of such a bad year in 2020 and having a lot of issues economically and financially and a lot of changes at work and other things happening that I can say now in the summer of 2021 that I'm moving into my 47th birthday feeling really great. I feel really settled. Things in my personal life are going well. I feel really happy with where I am with my kids and in my marriage and at work. I'm just really happy. I feel really healthy and I feel really good about my health and fitness level. So I'm really happy about that and I'm really grateful for that. Moving on to the fourth thing that I'm thankful and grateful for is being able to get out and do some things socially and travel. I really missed that last year and I'm really enjoying that this summer. I recently went to Nashville, Tennessee with my husband to celebrate our seventh wedding anniversary and we had a really good time. And I do have some small things upcoming as far as other weekend trips and day trips that I'll be doing this summer that I'm really excited about. If you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you follow me over there. I do Instagram live streams every single Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. And in my live streams, I talk about my weekly happenings and what's been going on and anything else you guys want to talk about. And it's a great way for me to connect with you personally over there. But I will be sharing a lot regarding my trips and other things that I'm doing this summer over on my Instagram. So follow me there if you want to. I'd love to have you join me over there for my lives. Moving on to the last and final thing that I'm thankful and grateful for. Today is actually Titus's 14th birthday. I'm so thankful and grateful that he has turned into such an amazing young man. I now have a 14 year old and a 16 year old 
in my home. I can't believe it. And they're amazing kids. I'm so grateful for that. I actually don't have him this weekend. He's with his dad. So we're gonna celebrate his birthday next week. And he's really excited about that. He picked out his cake. It is a chocolate fudge cake with chocolate buttercream frosting. I think it's gonna be amazing. He loves chocolate. So I'm really excited and looking forward to that. But I'm so happy to say that I have an amazing 14 year old son. So do me a favor, wish him a happy birthday in the comments. I know he'd love to read that. That would be so great if you wouldn't mind doing that. But you guys, that's it. That's my list. Those are the five things that I'm thankful and grateful for that happened this past week. Let me know in the comments below what things have happened to you this last week that you're thankful and grateful for. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. And remember to make your everyday ordinary life extraordinary.